Hello everyone, this is Cher. Welcome to my channel Cher's Window, my view of literature. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please watch, like, comment, share and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Today we will look into the story of giant despair as an allegory. An allegory is a story with a hidden meaning behind it. The word allegory comes from the Greek word allos, meaning other or another, and agoria, which means speaking. Thus, when we combine together allegory, or if we use the Greek language allegoria, it means to speak of another thing or another story. An allegory can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning, typically a moral or a political one. The Pilgrim's Progress is an allegory of the spiritual journey of a human being. The pilgrimage of Christian and hopeful stands for the journey of life which begins in birth and ends in death. Christian and hopeful stands for ordinary human beings in the journey of life. The two pilgrims, Christian and hopeful, stands for the people on the journey of life. Christian stands for any good human being. Hopeful stands for the good friends that accompany us along life's journey. God knows that life will be too difficult and lonely for us to travel alone. So he has given us good friends. Hopeful stands for the good and faithful friends in the journey of life. We have seen that Christian and Hopeful have started out from their homes and were on their way to the kingdom of heaven. As they were traveling, they came across the territories of giant despair, even though they did not know it. They fell asleep there and they were taken prisoners by giant despair. Giant despair stands for the difficult times that we have to go through in the journey or pilgrimage of life. Very often, we do not plan to get into trouble, but trouble happens. Just as Christian and Hopeful also fell into trouble when they came across giant despair. Giant despair lived in a castle called Doubting Castle. It is also true that when we go through difficulties in life, we have doubts. We have doubts whether God loves us, whether the plans which he has for us are good or not. We doubt whether we will escape. We doubt whether life is good or not. We doubt our eternal destiny. We see here that giant despair had imprisoned the pilgrims from Wednesday morning till Saturday night and there they had not a drop of drink or a morsel to eat and they had to lie there in the dark. They were also beaten black and blue by giant despair. But Giant Despair and his wife were not satisfied just to harm them physically. They want to harm their souls. This can be done if the prisoners would agree to commit suicide. For Christians, for people to commit suicide, there would be a punishment of an eternity in hell.